So starting for Raymer, Raymers, quote unquote, Gamers Go Makers, the worst named game in the game, game, the gaming game. Yeah. We'll go with Revachain, of course. I don't know what the company name will be yet. We need us a beautiful black lady. So, what's up with all these honkies, man? Now I have to make Denise. Reva Jane will have to be Caucasian for this. And give her some flowers. She got a <laughs> cat shirt that says hello. Sure, why not? We'll just go with a uh, normal difficulty. Ravinda? Okay. Sure, why not? And we get to pick our specializations, which as far as I played, I've discovered are bro broken down into two different categories, programming and design. Uh, obviously, programming on the left-hand side, design on the right-hand side. Uh, I think we'll go strong in one direction, of course. Three skills. We'll specialize in programming. I'd like to put, have an extra one just for sound, but eh. Although I do kind of know something ahead of uh, a little bit of time, man, so I might go ahead and put a point in level design, but nah, we'll keep it all to programming. And we get a starting location. Um, They all have their own bonuses, of course. Uh, there's quite a few to choose from, actually. Um, there's only a couple that I noticed that I actually really liked. You even be over in South Korea, China, uh, the United States of Mans, Brazil, Russia, Argentina, Germany. Germans love research and management games. You get a bonus on research and management simulation games. The English players uh, stick to their favorites. We go to South Africa to program games, Canada, and uh, Australia. It's 20% on sales for casual games because Aussies are casual fags, apparently. Apparently. I think we might go with Canada or the US to be honest. I guess for Ravinda, considering we're Americans, we may as well go there. Canada is pretty nice. Not negative 20% running cost, so I'm guessing that's just like your monthly expenses. That's pretty awesome. But having a higher skilled staff, I think, is more important. I don't think the uh, Germans would be able to get my humor, though, Tom. That's my problem. A text-based MMO? I guess it's really possible you could do that on Game Dev Tycoon if you wanted. The 80s are back! And we can decorate our uh, walls. Of course, a lot of these wallpapers make it difficult to see our company name on the wall, which is kind of dim. That's not too bad. Let's go with the poo smeared wall, I guess. Okay, so let's get started. Let's see, Revo Jane. 
We have no other really no other real choice other than to start a new project. We start off with fifty thousand dollars and uh, crampy little office. I'll have the game uh, leave the tutorial open just to walk us through it as we go in case I forgot anything and to introduce new stuff that I probably never got to last time I played this a little bit. So we get to pick our genre and our platform first. Um, this is a little bit different than Game Dev Tycoon, of course. Because when you click on your genre, then you click your topic, quote unquote. Well, that would be what it was in Game Dev Tycoon. So we got hack and slash platform, shoot them up. So they're all matched already. Adventure game doesn't have any subgenre thing, my bobbers. And then we can make racing and sports sims and strategy games. I think we'll start with strategy games. Let's see, and this just explains how uh, consoles have different variables, like in Game Dev Tycoon, where they match with different genres better. Uh, they also have matches, matchings on how complex games are as well. So, strategy games. Yes, strategy, it's not a simulation. <laughs> uh... We'll go with the Commodore VZ20 as the second highest market share, second to the Atapi 2600. And I don't think the Atapi would be good for strategy games. We need uh, a different kind of dial. Of course, we got the Pair 2, which would be obviously an Apple, but it has a very low market share. So let's go with the Commodore. This game has an in <laughs> this has an in-game randomizer for names too. But it's pretty bland. And there's a lot of typos in this game's dialogue too, I've noticed. Okay, blow shit up. So yes, the game's just saying we have we'll have more stuff to choose from later. So basic sound and text based. We don't have any graphics yet. Let's see. Then yeah, we get to choose where we want to spend our time working on. Uh, from what little I played of this, I realize that level design is incredibly important for uh, strategy games. And then I think the rest mostly just goes into uh, these areas. The programming aspect of it. I think sound maybe not as important. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Maybe one down for game does not two. One down for sound, one more for writing, I think. Experiment a little. And we could speed the game up, it says by clicking this, but I don't know how it does, because all it does is just pause the game for me so whatever okay so now we're in the uh, next phase of programming we get to choose which languages we want to translate it into um, I don't know if we really wanted it any right now there's a strong trend for evil games coming up which I think is a story we can get so it's gonna be a evil game about artillery we're going to spin... I think that's... Yeah, we'll spend 30000 on the story. Which is going to break us. And we want high violence. Uh, just a little bit of explicit language. Oh, and we can make the, uh, the game case too. We'll probably just randomize it and get some decent ones because we don't have a lot to choose from right now. And that looks just fine with a bomb on it. Sure, why not? Uh, we won't move the sexual content because this game isn't supposed to be sexual at all so I'm not going to bother with that. Explicit language up a little bit and then violence max out of course.
I just started playing, DJ. Don't fucking start trying to backseat me already. Okay, we gained uh, extra experience from the last project. Well done. We'll put one in the level design. Let's see how well it sells. Okay, so yeah, we can price it. It'll tell us <laughs> various things. There's a strong trend for strategy artillery games. There's a strong trend for evil games. There are currently two similar games on the market. We have a market share of 37% on the console we're releasing it for. And the average price is $18, so... Uh, we'll actually leave it at 20 considering these games are pretty hot right now. And yes, this is in-game music. Okay, first game are out on the market. And... It's making us 8000 a day. We got our reviews. Yes, I understand, game. Now, fuck off. Thank you. <clears throat> so, we got a score of 78%. Uh, no cons. Let's see. Ravinda comes up with the first release. A cool strategy artillery game for the Commodore. I'm really curious to see the next game. Beautiful, mostly smooth visuals. Nice sound. Lengthy, uh, challenging campaign. Blah, 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 mans. So, level design and sound need a little bit more work. Though level design I had maxed out, must have been because I didn't specialize in it. Though I did just put a point in a spe uh, level design, so we should be better off there. As for the sound, I probably could have um, added another point to that. See, we get income for the first 90 days, and then apparently it's just free to everybody. So with our first game released, let's start doing some research. And we can upgrade our sound to Mono Man's. Start our next strategy game about war, apparently. Strategy works great on the Commodore, so let's keep making it for it. Ah, these are all awful. Windows does not like to focus on this damn thing. Ah! Stop it! Stop it! This is so fucking annoying already. I thought my chat was fucked up, but apparently not. Hey, what'd I name it? I don't even know. So we know we want level design maxed out. And betterish sound. I named it God's Awesome. It's totally what I meant to do. Uh, probably should have left the writing where it was at. Let's 
Let's see, is anything hot right now? Probably still evil. Let's do another evil game. And with a little bit of money in the bank. Let's do a shitload of translations and see how that works out for us. Hopefully God's is a little bit better than blow shit up. Global release already. Hopefully it makes us broke. It does have much better music than Game Dev Tycoon. Though if you have a chance you should go and watch the trailer for this game. Because it looks like they just dragged some hobo off of the street to do the uh voiceover, like, reading of it. <laughs> Voice. Doesn't even make any sense, man. Just do a little explosion right there, I guess, for war. Evil Games trend has died out. That's unfortunate. Let's see. Uh, uh, apparently we gained some experience. <laughs> no trend for static strategy war games. No uh, trend for evil games. No similar games on the market. We'll go with the average price then. And training is available now. Yay. Got a review for gods. Uh, this, is a, this is the same as our last game. Inviting visual style, charming sounds, tight, exciting combat, much improved level design, leads to challenging, exciting ba uh, battles, but it didn't last long. So, meh, at least we can sell some of it, and we're only making 3,000 off of it, so we definitely made a lot more with Blow Shit Up. Let's do some training. Programming for dummies. Okay, Blow Shit Up is off the market, it made us $312,000. Good mix of violence, blah, 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 blah. So, after a game finishes its release, uh, we'll get more specifics about what we chose for violence and sexual content and the like. Uh, looks like we had a really decent balance of violence and a decent balance of explicit language. Sexual content is fine, I guess, too. See, you finish training, gain some experience. And more training, advanced programming for advanced dummies. Let's get to it. Yeah, we're not nearly making as much from gods, unfortunately. And finished. We can actually look at the game market and see titles of all the other games that are released at, uh, currently. And the levels of where we're ours where ours belong. And now the top game is Race. Almost 2 million units sold. By Atapi. The company released the famous Atapi 2600. We actually have the top 2 uh, Commodore games out right now. Oh, and apparently we can research. Oh, I forgot the game's still going. Whoops. So we're researching vector graphics. 
I have no idea, Dorothy. Welcome to Ge Geometry with Vector Based Graphics. Tits up. Start our next project. There's no more uh, strategy stuff to do. We'll probably come back to that once we have more stuff researched. For now, we might jump to action games. We'll do a hack and slash. Or wait, I know. Let's do a, a shoot 'em up. That might work a little bit better. Actually, I think, yeah, we raised the uh, market share on the Commodore. Well, in that case, let's do some simulation games then. I'm sure I would only assume they would go great on the Commodore. You lose fans for shitty games in Gabe Dev Tycoon. I would have assumed that, DJ. I think you wanted me to play this just so you could fucking tell me about this shit. I have no idea, Godlike. Yeah, simulation games this early on this isn't supposed to work out well either. It's like I'm really there. Oh, there's, uh... Yeah, action beat-em-up. I totally missed that. Let's make an action beat-em-up then. We'll see how they do on the Commodore. We'll use that anyways, Demarth. Well, yeah, we'll reverse it since this is an action game. <laughs> How about speed trunk in my junk instead of speed junk in my trunk? My stick? My stick is so tiny, though. Okay. Uh, vector based graphics of course mono sound so for an action game I'd assume a lot of that programming stuff would be important probably more than writing a little bit more with level design gameplay max that out maybe the graphics I got a ton of stick. Indeed. Oh great, you guys can't actually see it because I was trying to resize the chat window. But uh the damn thing popped up on the other side. On my other monitor. Uh, you can't see it, but we're going to make the story about zombies. Translate into all languages. High violence. Medium to high explicit language and medium to high sexual content. Gods is still making a little bit of money. Could be better though. Strategy War games are popular. Let's see. Let's see. For the last game. Gods, the content. Oh, I forgot. I didn't realize you could select different countries for that. That's cool. Apparently, violence in it was a little too high. Except for America. It's probably toned down with the violence a little bit more. Oh, that's cool. I like that case right there. It's got a little gun on it. <laughs> Even though it is a beat-up game with a title about cars. Hey, we finished our first year. 
He made two hundred fifty-five thousand dollars last year. Thank God, and by the gods and man gods and stuff. We're not. <laughs> we're not broke. Not yet. Hey, we're finished. Light trend for action beat em up. No significant trend for zombie games. Three similar games on the market. If there's three similar games on the market, then I might make it slightly cheaper than them. We'll go below average on the price. Apparently, sound design and level design are yet even more important for action games. We'll remember that because we're probably going to make another one. Sound and level design. Okay. Oh, and yeah, new training. Introduction to game design. I guess to help balance us out a little bit. Gain some experience, uh, level design, sound design, con content design. And some research. Research simple AI. Which takes a little bit longer, I think. Today, a Tappy released their new platform. See, there's a typo. No space between pl platform and the. The platform, the 5200, is a successor to 2600. Uh, ups any with analog joysticks and a keypad. Offers four controller ports. Don't care. Then click. Well, okay, I guess it didn't matter which one I click. Queen B, I didn't notice. Oh no. Market is now available. So now we can publish in magazines. The half the man's up. Shoot him up action is. Yeah, I see that. We'll, we'll uh, go shoot him up action then. And we have AI researched. We got another category. And action games are good on the Commodore as well. We'll keep releasing games on this since we've cornered the market share. Graphics, simple AI, all looks good. Okay, so the gameplay was good where it was had, I think. Game engine. The sound and level design I needed to up the ante for. There's a strong trend for dungeon games coming up. We'll see if we end up making some of those. Let's translate it everywhere. Didn't see any story trends coming, uh, getting hot. Unless there's dun unless dungeons in here. Dungeon shoot 'em up. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. it. Looks like new stuff's unlocked on uh, the story screen too. Well, 
let's make it about something. A shoot 'em up about what? SWAT team shoot 'em up. Put 30k in there. Shooting up them heroin mans. 